Hey everybody, Mr. Martini here, and I'm going to give you a brief rundown on plagiarism, the do's and the don'ts, so that we can avoid any issues as we write our global issues paper. Now, the first thing you need to understand is the basic premise or idea of plagiarism. And basically, plagiarism is taking someone else's ideas, taking someone else's words, and using them as if they are your own. That's the basic idea, passing off other people's ideas as if they are yours. That's what we really want to avoid any time when writing papers or doing projects of any other kind. Now, if we know that plagiarism is passing off ideas as our own, how do we avoid that? Because there are some serious repercussions that can happen. If you are caught plagiarizing, best case scenario, you're most likely going to have to rewrite your paper. Maybe a portion, maybe the entire thing. Worst case scenario, you're going to fail that project or that paper, whatever it is that you're plagiarizing. So, when we are looking at how to not plagiarize, we're going to break it down into two separate categories. The first category is resources. Those are the articles, videos, and books that you might be using right now to find information on your global issue. And in order to not plagiarize resources, there's just one simple rule that you have to follow, and that is cite everything. Any time that you are using a fact, a quote, an idea, or anything at all from a resource, you must give credit to that resource in the form of a citation. That is telling the reader, this idea did not come from me, but rather from this other person or this other source. And that's the easiest thing to do. So anytime that you are going to use information from a resource, make sure that you give it a proper citation in your paper. The second category, apart from resources, is people. Because many of your teachers, I'm assuming, over the years, have told you how important teamwork is in education and in learning in general. We don't want to stop you from working together to improve your papers or help you come up with new ideas, but at the same time we need to be careful that we are not plagiarizing or using the ideas of our classmates and passing them off as if they are ours. And here's a couple of helpful hints to help you avoid that situation. First, when working with a partner or when working with someone else to help improve your paper, don't share sentences. Don't explicitly tell another student or ask another student, how would you write this or how did you write this? stay away from copying the same sentence as another student. Instead, focus on larger ideas. By that I mean, ask your partner or ask your friend, hey, how did you or in what ways could you explain this information in the paragraph? By doing this, they're still helping give you ideas, but they're not explicitly giving you the words or the sentences that you'll use in your paper. That's the best and easiest way to avoid any kind of plagiarism or cheating on your paper. Make sure to cite all resources that you use, online articles, books, or videos, and then make sure that when you're working with someone else, you're sharing or working with larger ideas and not just taking or giving explicit sentences. 
If you follow those, then you're going to do a really great job on this paper avoiding any kind of plagiarism or cheating problems. Thanks. I hope this was helpful, but let me or any of your other teachers know if you have follow-up questions.